Hello YouTube! Today I'll be showing you a tutorial for how to make the fence gate elevator in Minecraft 1.1. Supposedly this fence ele elevator has broken since the full release of Minecraft, but today I will show you how to fix it. Today I'll be showing you how to make the entire elevator, however if you already have one of these elevators and are looking for only the fix, go ahead and click the annotation on the right hand side of the screen now. So, to make the beginning of the elevator, what we need to do is create a half circle of blocks like so. And then we need to draw these and make these uh, towers 13 high. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, whoop, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And I'll just go ahead and make the rest of them 13 now. And the reason for this is because the, uh, the piston only pushes 12, only pushes 12 blocks. And we have one piston that faces faces down, so the 13 block tower is absolutely perfect for us. There we go. So it should look something like this. Our first step here is to add the pistons. So our first piston will go in the front left corner of our elevator, and we want that one facing upwards. Then we'll knock out this block on the right side and have a single piston facing to the left. Then if we go up to the top, Knock out two blocks on the left hand side and place your piston facing inwards toward the right. And the final piston goes at the very top on the 13th block facing downwards. So it should look something like that. Our next step is to add the redstone circuit. So place two redstone directly in front of the leftmost piston. Then place two repeaters on default delay facing to the left. Next we want to create our redstone clock. To do so, Draw out your redstone circuit from the two repeaters by two. Then place two repeaters facing toward your elevator directly in front of one another so that they hit the redstone circuit here. Then come around, turn around, and place two repeaters going back this way. So it should look something like this. Next step is to wire up our input. So take redstone once again and draw out three from your redstone 3 1 clock. Next you'll need a sticky piston. Sticky piston will go facing toward the elevator and right on the same block as the last redstone you placed in the previous step. Then you'll need a block in front of the sticky piston and two repeaters, this one on default delay and this one on one tick of additional delay. And then put redstone behind it and draw it out and this will be your input right here. So we can go ahead and grab a lever here and place this. So let's turn this on and see if the clock works. Yep, so this is a 3-1 clock and it is working. The next step is to go ahead and wire up this piston over here, the rightmost piston. So we'll go ahead and place red, one redstone here and we'll place a block behind this piston and wire it up. So this piston is now wired up but we need to wire up those pistons up there. So to do that we need to create a redstone staircase. So all you do is just create a staircase that goes all the way up to the 11th level. And you put redstone in a winding fashion all the way around until you get all the way up to level 11. Okay, so we are here at 11 now. Now we have to go down and put redstone so that it's wired all the way up. So we'll just go ahead and do that now. Just place a redstone on top of every block. Make sure it's connected. Make sure nothing cuts off anywhere. Like that. So your whole setup should look like this right now. From here what we need to do is take our redstone circuit that comes from the staircase and bring it out and then feed it in toward the rest of these pistons. So I'm just making a uh, a path that we can put the redstone on and we need to power that piston as well. So I'll just go ahead and make like a little structure here. Then we'll go ahead and place a repeater down there and there with redstone connecting it. And then we can go ahead and wire up this uh, downward facing piston. And for the uh, piston over here we'll just go ahead and place a redstone repeater down there and there and then connect it via redstone. So what's happening here is this piston here is on two ticks delay as is the other piston down here 
which is seeing the delay here as two ticks. Meanwhile, the pistons facing horizontally see no tick and four ticks, respect to the delay. So what should happen is the two vertical pistons fire together and the horizontal pistons together, and that should give us like a conveyor belt type of action. The next step here is to go ahead and add our half slabs and our fence gates. So what I like to do is I like to start down here on top of the leftmost bottom piston and place half slab, fence gate, fence gate, then half slab, fence gate, fence gate, half slab, and just continue this pattern up this side of the elevator and you want to leave one space at the top. Then on the bottom, what I like to do is I like to place two fence gates, then a half slab, followed by two fence gates, half slab, two more fence gates, half slab, and two more fence gates. So, with that done, we should be ready to turn it on and see what happens. So this got pushed out initially, but you can just fix that, like that. So as you can see what happens, the fence gates all closed, and if you try to get on this, it's pretty much impossible, even though I did just there. Yeah, so how do we how do we fix this? Because in survival you can't do that. To fix this problem, simply place levers everywhere that you see orange wool here. So let's go to the back and do that now. So we need levers here, here, here and turn them all on and you also need two levers up here at the same level level 11 I believe as your redstone circuit is which powers these upper pistons so then once you have that fix you should be able to turn it on and as you'll see eventually all these fence gates will be open there we go you'll be able to ride the elevator with relative ease there have been some people who have asked me how I did my multiple floors and multiple inputs so first of all, what I recommend doing is hiding this redstone here under your floor. So say you have a floor here, and say you have a floor here. So this will be your two floors. To get multiple inputs, all you need to do is take your input switch here, draw it out, place a block down, any block will do, and then place a redstone torch on it. From there, draw your two inputs, say this could be first floor and second floor, and flick one switch on to disable the elevator from moving. Place another switch down. So say this is your first floor, you hop on, you turn on this elevator, ride it up to the second floor, flick this to stop it. Then when you want to go back down, flick this switch, back down to the first floor, and turn it off. This method does have the problem of this torch sometimes burning out. So what you may want to do instead is try something like this. So keep this block here, put a piston behind it, it'll extend. Then go ahead and place a redstone torch down there and place a block on top. As long as this piston receives power, this, will, this block will stay here, transmit power to the whole system. But if you turn it off, the piston retracts and no power flows. You can also put a T flip flop here so that you can toggle the switches on and off from each floor. And you can find videos on that on YouTube. So, thanks for watching, everybody. This has been the Fence Gate Elevator tutorial for Minecraft 1.1. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye.